basically one game into the second half of the season, you know, uh, being a guy who's experienced, you know, how do you make sure that, you know, you don't let the season get away? Well, it came fast. I just got to keep pushing in the heads of our teammates that they go by fast. Uh, I remember just being a freshman, and, and now I'm a fifth-year senior. It's crazy. We just got to take advantage of, of the time we got together. And how have you been able to kind of balance that, being an older guy, as far as just the experience you have in the SEC, kind of being able to pass along advice to younger guys like Devois and Chase? Well, I think they respect me personally. Uh, I don't talk a lot, but when I do talk, I, I think it's meaningful, and they take it and run with it. Uh, yeah, you, you, you obviously got to reset them because uh, we had a mindset of finishing the season out strong and, and, and finishing eight and four. Now we got an opportunity to, to finish out strong and, and finish seven and five. Um, what reasons are there as far as you guys offensively that anything you can take out of this game that you can be positive with and move on into some some things that they clicked? Uh, well, each team is different, so us playing against Ole Miss and Auburn is, is going to be different. So we just got a game plan tomorrow, how watch about, film and evaluate ourselves. How about mentality-wise? I mean, you've been playing a lot in this league from South Carolina and here. What's the vibe of this team right now? Uh, well, we just coming together and being stronger. Uh, I don't think nobody gave up and none of that type of stuff. I think we, it's just bringing us closer and closer and, and making that bond and making this season more rememberable. Thanks, David. Thank you.